Oh my gosh, that scared the hell out of me. Oh my god. Oh, uh, this is what you were listening yesterday. <gasps> Can you hear me? <gasps> Can you hear me? What the fuck? Who the fuck is talking? <gasps> Oh, can you hear me? Okay. Okay, there we go. The sound is playing. Now I'm gonna check if we're live. Also, I'm lowering the ball. Okay. Oh, baby. Let's start. Okay. Live. Okay. What's up, guys? This is Green Warrior 291. I'm here with Underdog Austin. Cool pen. I said it right this time. Uh, we're here with Arku and Star Clover. And also guest star Bailey, if y'all can see her right there, trying to find her. And Molly, when she appears. Anyway, we're doing Re Zero, starting life in another world, The Prophecy of the Throne. Heads up for those who have been paying attention to my channel a little. We know what happened at Star Clover. Narku only seen the arcs one and two, so basically this is gonna be an interesting experience for him, but it shouldn't be too hard for him to handle. Let's start. New game. <laughs> and we're also And finally Raise both arms and victory! Okay. Victory! Yeah, this is um. You really bring out the light in everyone, Subaru. Ah, look at Amelia. You may even be more popular than Ram and Rem. You know, you know, something's wrong when Subaru is the more popular one. I mean, I did kind of put my neck on the line to save the village. And just like a true gentleman, I didn't hang it over their heads either. Surely such a gesture will have Neely falling head over heels for me once more. What? What just happened? Okay. I recall ever having such feelings for you in the first place. Ha! Roasted. Already roasted. Already roasted. Not even. Besides, <laughs> I think their impression of you is a bit different. Oh. In their eyes, you're more of a sage than some legendary hero. Sage isn't yeah, that bad. Because you're so knowledgeable about so many peculiar things. If only you knew. <laughs> if only you knew. Own, believe it or don't, huh? But I'm pretty sure the only thing they've caught on to are my radio calisthenics. Huh. These early morning exercises end up being way more popular with the villagers than I expected. Yeah, uh, but you look disappointed still. It's been such a big event that half the village participate every time. Why else have I taught them in such a short amount of time? Nothing really comes to mind. Either way, it's been about a month since I came to this Dang it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay, what do you guys think? Uh, there's... There's five of us, so honestly... Focus on talking Hurry to you. Yeah. Uh, everyone in the group? Oh. Think back. Alright, who says think back? Raise your hand. 
Uh, yeah, you're kind of outnumbered. So much has happened since then. It's a miracle I'm even able to spend my time peacefully with you right now, Mealy. Yeah. I, uh, Don't forget about the potato stamps you the the children. Oh, and that mayonnaise stuff. That's it. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. So there's a whole chapter of how Subaru created mayonnaise. Um, yeah, he uh, created mayonnaise for the, and everyone loves it, so he kind of is, is known. Wait, isn't that one of your visits of the village? Uh, this happens after Arc 2, but before Arc 3. It's its, it's own manga chapter. Mayonnaise, we have to speak. I got an achievement for what? Well, I feel like my efforts in the Moppies incident were really diminished. Seeing how it's being mentioned in the same line as mayonnaise. I put my life on the line for everyone, man. I mean, I went to help the kids from the village, only to get bitten by some dogs. And I even saved Rem after she tried to save me in the forest, and got bitten by more dogs. Then Roswell had to come in and save the day before the dogs bit off even more of me. To think, all that effort is on par with mayonnaise. Wait, hold up! Did I do anything other than get eaten by those hellhounds? Aw, oh, come on. Don't fuss over the small details. But Mealy! Many of us know how hard you've worked. That includes Roswell, Rom, and Rem especially. <laughs> and that goes for me too. Alright, uh, Subaru, you're kind of low level you right now. Know the amount of effort you put into everything you've done lately. So no more being down in the dumps over all this, all right? Uh, well... Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Why are you moping about like a big dog? Yeah, I still haven't come to just you. always like this. Well, it's not like I was doing it on purpose. This isn't fair! How do I not fall for you all over again after that? <laughs> Let me get <laughs> Yes, yes. I think it's a pretty bad habit of yours to so quickly change the subject like that. Alright, in the ATB part, you can enjoy the storyline and use auto skip or backlog function. No, no, I see what she's doing. Uh, blah blah blah. On the menu, okay. I don't know how to access the menu yet. So, so, so. Now let's move along with the story. There's a dragon carriage in front of the mansion. Basically, literally back from that episode. Oh, <laughs> trap time! Uh, all right. Oh, skip. Now that I think about it, they were pretty common to see in the royal capital. What did you call it again? A dragon carriage? Hmm. That's right. The land dragon is the one pulling the carriage along, so it makes sense to call it as such, no? Wait, did I make a mistake? Does it have a more official name? Um, I don't know. No, no. I'm the clueless one here. You're correct, so don't worry. Is that so? You aren't trying to confuse me, are you? I don't want to embarrass myself later. If you're lying, you'll really get a walloping from me. <laughs> That's a pretty old school phrase. Whoa, it's massive. <laughs> Probably. Welcome back. Apologies for parking in front of the entrance. Hmm. There's a big change. No Wilhelm. And you are? I am an envoy sent from the royal capital. An emissary of ours is currently tending to the Margrave. An emissary? Could it be? I believe it has something to do with the royal selection, as I'm sure you've surmised. No ordinary person. I ask that you reserve any questions you may have for your meeting with the emissary. They are awaiting your arrival inside. 
The royal selection. I see. Thank you. Welcome back, Miss Amelia. Oh, guys, look, it's Rem. Oh. Rem the maid. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry for my absence. I hear we have a guest? Mm. Yes, an emissary from the royal capital is here to speak with you. Lord Roswell is tending to them now. I ask that you please join him. Of course. This is a matter that involves me, so I can't just sit idly by. An emissary from the capital, huh? This is pretty serious business. I'll be sure not to do anything stupid. Um, sorry, Subaru, but this is a rather important discussion. I know. I'm pretty nervous, so that's why I'm preparing myself. What? Wait, Ram be or Ram or are you talking about the if, if the two were to fight, Amelia is stronger only because of blood. Oh, Ram would be strong as shit if she had her horn. She's stronger right now because Ram doesn't have her horn, but if she did. will be accompanying Miss Amelia to the reception room. There is no need for another servant to do so. Please understand, Subaru. Seriously? I'm being left out? Yep. I'm sorry, Subaru. Ram, please lead the way. Yes. Please return to your room for the time being, Subaru. I'll come by later and bring you some tea. Oh. And there they go. I know I wouldn't be of much use with my practically non-existent knowledge of this world. But would it really be so much trouble to involve me a little more? Yes. Yes, it would. I love this. I mean, it's thanks to me that the peace and quiet has returned around here. Mm. You're, you're, you're half right. Only because if it wasn't for him, Petra and the others would have been dead. But understanding and growing up are two totally different things. Now, oh, what should I do? Okay, okay, now, now can I, uh, what's next? I know. I should ask Ram again. <laughs> like, that'll work! Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's tutorial mode, so I, I can't do shit. I apologize, Subaru. I cannot allow that. We'll be doing any other Even if it's a request coming from you, I must ask that you give up on joining the meeting. <laughs> After talking, try to moving to another station. Okay, and that's okay. So obviously, it's teaching me how to work, dude. Look how stupid it looks. It's so fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> I want those dolls. No. 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 There's think mode? Hold on. Think. Dude, that's funny. Why can I not? There we go. I want to know. I'll go to the hall and ask Grim if she knows where the leaves are at. She might appreciate if I got her a little something. Or it might be more receptive if I gave her a flower from this. Mm. No, no, fuck off. I'm actually trying to trick you. Alright, I'll give this flower to Rem as a present. Isn't that, isn't that, like, okay. I mean, Rem is in love with Suru, so I mean, it's... You want me to go back? Probably it's tutorial mode, so... 
Oh, okay, so it seems like tutorial mode is being a bitch. This is for me. Thank you. I will cherish it forever. <laughs> Protect the smile. I don't think it'll last that long. Your kind gesture just makes me that happy. I cannot permit you inside, but I can offer my assistance with anything else. Then I'll take you up on that. Do you know where Rum Rum keeps her secret tea leaves stash? Why? I don't even know why I ask. They should be in the cabinet in the back of the kitchen. That's right. No the shit. Kitchen. Oh, oh fuck no. Drink her tea. Sister will be very upset with you. Don't worry, Ram. I won't drink any of it. Uh, I will. <laughs> oh, it's not like I'm gonna. It's not like I'm gonna risk anything out of him without taking. Wait, it's not like. I'm Get out oh, fucking hell, fuck you, this house. Besides, who knows if Ram will find out anyway. If things go well, I can get some information out of that guy without Ram ever finding out about this. If she does, I'll just kintow and beg for her forgiveness. <laughs> Alright, let's go get that fucking thing. I wonder if I can still go to the Ah, it's still tutorial. Ram statue should be in the kitchen. Found Ram's. No, I'm ready to go talk to that guy outside. <laughs> now I'll go see the, that guy outside. Okay. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you bored waiting out here all by yourself? Why don't you take a little break? Wait. Oh, thanks. I was just feeling a little parched. Are you sure I can have some? <laughs> no. Okay, here's another option. What, what do you guys want? Easy Frank and easy to talk to. Is this guy taking me lightly? What's with this handsome? Uh, to. I'm gonna say Frank and easy. Uh, get uh, you got outnumbered, Olivia. Of course, that's why I brought this. Drink up. To be honest, it's the most expensive tea in the mansion. If the pink-haired maid discovers we drank it without permission, she'll totally freak. I see. Is there something you wanted to ask me? Bribe me like this. You made sure to point out its value, so I assume you're expecting something in return. You've got a sharp eye. Well, first, can you tell me your name? Is that all? I am Tiga Ralion, but you can just call me Tiga. And you are? I'm Subaru Natsuki. Feel free to call me by my proper titles, though. Lord Subaru or Lord Natsuki. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that Subaru. <laughs> anyway, on to the main topic. Now that we know each other's names, we're practically besties. It's only natural that I want to know why my friend came over to play, right? That's an interesting leap of logic you've made. And I certainly wouldn't say I'm here to play either. I did escort a rather important emissary. Did I not mention that before? Uh, I know you did, but I was hoping to learn a little bit more than that. <sighs> to tell you the truth, <laughs> I uh, got kicked out. I don't want to end up being hung out to dry here. So please, Tiga, you'd really be helping out an old friend with this. How did we become such old acquaintances already? asking for too much here. While I'd love to help a friend in need, I don't particularly know what my friend's standing is at this mansion. In fact, I don't even know your background. But we're super pals! <laughs> Subaru, we only just met. Well, it doesn't take much to see how deeply you care for Miss Amelia. I can easily understand your feelings for her. So... So? I'll be rooting for you! <laughs> it doesn't help me at all! Do you understand the weight of your situation? We're talking about the next ruler of the Kingdom of Lagunica. You may end up in a highly revered position in the future. Maybe, but right now we're just a super cute girl and a useless servant boy. 
But who knows what the future has in store for us? The possibilities are endless. Even if yeah. I'm not worthy, I'll do whatever it takes to win her over. It'd be ideal if I keep improving to make this into a mutually beneficial relationship. You have an interesting perspective. I'm honestly impressed. Not many can say something like that with so much confidence. Maybe my friend here is a better person than I was first led to believe. Right back at ya. You recognize Neely right away, even though she's still had her hood up. Are you referring to the cute robe she was wearing? What makes it so special? That robe was made by a pretty sketchy magician of ours to block others from recognizing her so easily. Not to mention she had it upgraded recently. It's impossible to see through the magic unless you have the power to override it or Melee willingly lets you see her. So you were sizing me up from the get-go, eh? Well, that's not very nice of you, buddy. <laughs> no, it was totally by coincidence. <laughs> It was something I only just realized earlier when I was pouring us this tea in the mansion. I guess you won't buy my story of just being the envoy of the emissary then. In that no. case, you have my respect for your intellect and... Ah, never mind. It seems we've run... You know, this guy is like a very chill... <laughs> He's like Wilhelm, but just chill. What the fuck? Bill? <laughs> Welcome back, Sakura. Did you do what was needed of you as an emissary without issue? Of course, What's her name? Sakura? I can handle something as Sakura. As well, now, sorry for asking. Hey, Tiga, is she? All right, she's the emissary I came with. I, I, I see. Oh, have you made a new friend, Tiga? You don't usually hang out with other boys. Wait, so he's one of those types? Damn it, I thought we were friends. You're a horse critic! Sakura, I really wish you wouldn't confuse someone I've only just acquainted myself with. You know it's not often I get opportunities like this. What the hell? Yes, yes. I'm Sakura Element, Tiga's colleague. What kind of fucking last name is that? I'm Subaru Natsuki. I'm Tiga's former friend. Sakura the Element. What the fuck Element? The element of being already <laughs> it seems you two have gotten quite close already. Please take good care of him. I assume you'll be setting out to the royal capital as well. If so, I'll see you when you get there. Well, let's get going, Tiga. The princess will worry if we're out for too long. <sighs> Sorry, Subaru, but Sakura's right. Works, I know we'll meet again at the Royal Capital. Capital. Until then, well, that depends on the chick. That's that with that really. Cool. Church chick should not have been here. So, you're going to the capital, right? Take me with you. See? Is his response not exactly as I preed okay. did? <coughs> right. Listen, we're not going there for fun, okay? This is an incredibly important task. I know that. The royal selection being delayed is a huge deal. Ram is Ram. A Ram is just angry at us. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty please, Mealy, take me with you. Oh my god. I don't know. Miss Amelia, Subaru is being sincere. I would also like to ask that you give him permission to let him go with you. Besides, it seems Subaru has several acquaintances in the royal capital. 
this may be a good opportunity you know, to touch base with Ram is the reason he was able to go. Very nice assist, Ram. Come here. Yes, Subaru. <laughs> oh my. There, there. Thanks a bunch. Can we see the animation of adding red? Support. Yes. What the? Please what the fuck? Goodness. Rem's fondness for Farusu is quite worrisome. I also do not understand what goes on in Farusu's head. I noticed him speaking at the gates to that envoy from the royal capital earlier, but... Hmm? I smell tea leaves. Do not tell me you have taken from my secret reserve, Farusu. I would not put it past you. Uh, anyway, uh, let's oh, see you let's be bad. <laughs> Please, Mili, let me go. I really want to help you. That's exactly why I can't bring you. I know you'll just do something reckless again if I do. I mean, I don't want you getting out of hand. Please understand. You're the one who needs to understand, Mili. I. All right, that's quite enough. This doesn't seem to be going anywhere, so let's wrap this up, shall we? To conclude, Subaru will accompany you to the royal capital. These are my orders as your employer. Alright! Now that's what I'm talking about, Roz! However, I will be appointing you with a different sort of task, Subaru. You are to focus on receiving your treatment. Treatment? Me? But why? You overused your already exhausted gait in the mob beast battle out in the forest. Mm. Your physical wounds may be healed, but getting your gait treated is another matter altogether. I believe you understand what I speak of. It's kind of hard to believe there's something wrong with my body when I can't That's see what? it with my own eyes. Subaru, the mana that circulates within you is the source of life for all life forms. When it stagnates, it disrupts the circulation of your very life. You know, you know. Please. Don't try to hide such serious issues. All right, all right, I get it. My body's in danger. But what's that got to do with getting treatment at the royal capital? Your body is in such a state thanks to your honorable efforts. I have a duty to respond to your distinguished service in kind. That is why I have made arrangements with the greatest healer in the kingdom to care for you. Although I did ruffle some of Miss Amelia's feathers in the process. It's not that big a deal. This is the least I can do for Subaru as well. Really, Mili? You did that for me? <laughs> well, it's partly my fault that you haven't healed yet. You only ended up here because you tried to protect me in the slums. And you even stood up to those mob beasts when it should have been me protecting Why is he blushing? So you could say I'm repaying a debt. I consider this equal compensation for any injuries you sustained. What? Oh, come on! Don't downplay it to hide your embarrassment. But this means you're okay having me go with you to the royal capital. Right, Mili? Yeah. You haven't made a full recovery yet, after all. Well then, it's settled. Subaru shall accompany you to the royal capital. As well, Rem, would you mind going with them? Certainly, Lord Roswell. <laughs> Hold on, really? why is Roswell not going with them? <laughs> Whoa! A land dragon! Man, you're huge! And your skin is so tough! You're pretty scary looking! He's just like a child! Don't you think so? It is cute seeing Super get so excited like this. Do you not agree, Miss Amelia? Yes, I think it's cute too, but it seems you've really taken a liking to Subaru, haven't you, Rem? <laughs> oh, 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 this is insanely impressive. This is the definition of a fantasy world. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck?
<laughs> Land dragons are highly intelligent creatures. They can sense what you're talking about despite the language barrier. You must remember to treat them with care. I wish you told me that before it attacked me. You are still here, Barusu? Ram Ram Ram. You sure you want to stay behind at the mansion? Kind of worried about the food situation for Bayako and Roz. You understand nothing, Barusu. People do not die after a mere three or four days without eating. You have zero intention of cooking, don't you? By the way, is Roswell not coming to see us off? Or Bayako, for that matter? How heartless of them. Are you suggesting that I am here to bid you farewell? Huh? Uh, aren't you? Do take care, Rem. I am counting on you to look after Miss Amelia. Yes, of course. Thank you, sister. Miss Amelia, take care as well. Thank you, Ram. And? Huh. Yeah, yeah, figures. Not like I cared for a goodbye anyway. Oh, yes. I actually do need to tell you something, Barusu. Ah. If anything happens, you better throw yourself in front of those two. I will admit you have great talent acting as a human shield and decoy. Don't you think I have some other good qualities? Um. 50 times both. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Is that Bayako? Seeing us off from her window. Man, she's awful. <laughs> Is that all? Is that all we're gonna see? Really I guess that's all we get. Is Rem okay in such an exposed that's disappointing. seat? I'm not saying she'll fall off or anything. But won't her clothes and hair get all messed up by the time we make it to the royal capital? All dragon carriages are protected by a divine protection, so there's no need to worry. Divine protection? Yes. They're blessings given from the world itself at birth. There are many types, so they aren't all the same. There are even those that are always granted to certain races. An example would be the divine protection of wind repel from the land dragons. When a land dragon runs, the wind around them and the air resistance it causes doesn't affect them. As well, the wind repel blessing applies to the carriage the land dragon pulls because they're connected. That's why the carriage itself isn't affected by the wind either. And since Rem is at the range, she's also not affected. Well done. So then what about me, Neely? Do I have any divine protections? <laughs> You may not like hearing this, but it's actually far more common for people to be born without any blessings. Besides, those who are blessed with divine protections can sense it within themselves without anyone telling them. Damn. Guess I don't have any then. I'll just say that the world blessed me with meeting Neely. Yes, yes. Now wait patiently. I like how she's brushing it on size. To reach the royal capital. Oh, Neely. You're so cold to me. Oh. <laughs> Subaru, why don't you join me in the coach box? We can talk to your heart's content. The view is also quite nice. Now that's we have a call an attractive proposition. Do you mind if I join her, Melee? You won't be lonely oh, come on. by yourself, will you? I can say with complete confidence that I will be just fine. Why do you emphasize that so much? I guess I'll sit in the driver's seat and Enjoy my time with Rem. I'll gladly stay if you feel even a little bit lonely. Yes, I Here then. Don't cause too much trouble for Rem. Airhead. What a casual tone. Miss Amelia, may we stop the carriage for a moment? Wait, what? It will be some time before the land dragon will be able to continue our ride if we do. Oh, uh, wait. I say that's fine. Okay, you're the deciding player. Oh wait, three of us chose that, that's fine. Oh, it's fine. No need for that if it's going to slow us down. Very well. Then... Uh, Miss Amelia, Subaru, another driving carriage is approaching. I excuse me, please! Oh, no! Oh, no. It's our attacking! Please, oh, okay. it's an emergency! What should we do, Miss Amelia? I mean, he's like 20 years old. We should hear him out. Stop the carriage, Ram.
Thank you for stopping. My name is Otto Suen. I'm but a humble merchant. During my current travels, I encountered the Dusk Bandits, a group of thieves who stole all my goods. Dusk Bandits? They are criminals known to have been bolstering their forces as of late. I did not realize their influence had extended so close to Lord Roswell. A considerable failure on my part. So what do you plan on doing, Otto? I'm sorry to hear about your cargo, but there isn't much we can do, I'm afraid. No, of course not. This is my responsibility. I wouldn't ask you to retrieve my cargo under such circumstances. However... Yes? You know what you're talking to? ...who are with me have been captured by the Dusk Bandits. I was able to catch the bandits off guard and flee, but the others are still in danger. I need to figure out a way to save them. Rem's duty is to safely escort Miss Amelia and Super to the royal capital. So, while I hesitate to say... I get where you're coming from, Rem, but we can't just leave him on his own. It would seem so. Huh? Um, what do you mean? What else? Otto, we're on our way to the royal capital for a very important occasion. Changing our plans to account for the rescue of your friends would be very difficult. But... The Dusk Bandits, was it? If they're on the path to the capital, it wouldn't be our fault if they distract us along the way, right? That's right. It would be mere coincidence and at no fault of anyone here. So are you saying... It means we're on board. Melee agrees to saving your friends from those bandits. Are you okay with that, Rem? We have no other choice. Yes, I support Miss Amelia's decision. I'm sorry, Rem, but it looks like we'll be taking a detour. No problem at all. You are not the type to sit idly by. Well, the <laughs> innocence, Miss Amelia. There you have it, Otto. Show us the way to those bandits. I'll have you know you're in good hands. Everyone besides me knows how to put up a good fight. <laughs> That's a relief. But do you not question the sanity of saying that aloud? <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. We can't do much about it. We're not moving using the divine protection of Wind Repel. The difference is huge, though. The divine protection is really something. <laughs> Divinity. So, just how many bandits are we dealing with? During the discussion now. I'm sorry, I don't have an exact number. All I know is that there are more than a handful. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind, we'll have to wait. Oh, now that I think about it, I want to put the button now. Is he helping us out? They are just traitors, so even if you told them what to do, it would be difficult to fight against armed bandits. The dragon carriages are all fully loaded with cargo, so it would be hard to flee at a decent pace, too. Whoa, whoa! Don't tell me we came rushing out here and it's already too late! No, I don't think that to be the case. Their intention isn't to snuff out the traitors' lives. If the bandits killed their masters, the land dragons wouldn't follow any commands. They wouldn't be able to unload any cargo that way. But there's no guarantee the traitors will be spared afterward. Lucky for us. I doubt they've realized by now that I managed to slip away. They wouldn't be expecting a counterattack. So you're saying this is our big chance? Man, talk about walking a fine line. Anyway, you said they're just on the highway up ahead, right? What's the terrain like? Please provide us with as much information as possible. The more we know, the greater our advantage in the ensuing battle. Let's see. There's a bridge along the path. After crossing it, the place where everyone had been captured should be close by. We have to defeat the bandits before they harm the traitors further, right? Correct, but that's not all. There's another more narrow bridge along the way. 
Just to think. It's incredibly small. Enough for only a single dragon carriage to pass through. If they manage to overtake it, that would make things even more difficult. We gotta defend it. Right. So we have to defend that bridge with everything we've got. Are there any other routes leading to them? There's a third bridge farther ahead. How many the fucking bridges are there? But the bandits got there first and blocked it off. The amount of scattered cargo makes it impassable. Scattered. Scattered cargo, huh? But on the flip side, if we could use that bridge, we could get the jump on them, right? Bridge. Okay. Okay. Bridge. That would offer us a great vantage point if we could pass through it. But I think doing so would pose a great challenge. Well, I guess if the opportunity arises, we should consider ourselves lucky. Anything else? Is there anything you haven't told us yet? Let's see. It may be possible to use those, though it would be highly dangerous. What are those? Even if there's a risk, we should consider it if the outcome is favorable. Oh, we got nukes. Fire magic crystals. They fell out of a fellow trader's carriage when the bandits gave chase. It gave me a terrible fright. They were inside a box made to withstand the most arduous of transports, so the impact didn't disturb the magic crystals within. However, if they were to have exploded... So they're in a closed box. Okay. Yeah. Here. Potentially fire crystals are the equivalent of... And then... Dynamite. <laughs> yeah. We know they're on the ground. Yeah. So I see. It's true. Fire magic Fire. crystals would be handy to use against the bandits. We would just need to throw them and they explode, right? No, because it was said it was right next uh, to the carriage. Yes. But handling them is somewhat of a problem on its own. Oh. There's always a risk of them exploding by mistake. I understand. I'll try searching for those fire magic crystals first. Oh, and Otto, did anything else fall out of the carriages? We were in quite the rush, so I would imagine a whole slew of items did. I believe one dragon carriage was loaded with digging sticks. So it's possible some fell out. Digging sticks? Oh, you mean shovels? Watch this shit. I'll let you head. I'll just try searching for anything that seems useful then. Subaru, what should Rem do? You don't need to do anything special, do you? I doubt you'd lose to some measly bandits. Of course. Your Rem would never lose to such low lights. <laughs> just as I thought. Then you just go around beating them up however you want, Rem. But if things get too dangerous, I want you to run away. Got it? Very well. What should I do, Subaru? I can hold my own against those thugs, too. Uh, you can... Okay. What could she do, huh? Send the fuck. Oh, I oh, Achievement, um, Emilia or that was it? Yeah. Uh, oh, now so, wait. wait, go up. Can you move? Melee, will you help me out? Yeah. On the condition you stay out of harm's way, of course. Don't you mean you should stay out of trouble, Subaru? You're more reckless than me. I can't really deny that. But it still applies to you too, you know. Hey, that's not true. Huck, tell him. Uh, that's pretty tricky to answer. 
where Subaru's coming from, so I don't really have anything to say. Look, um... Even you would turn your back on me, Puck. Now, now, don't be so down in the dubs. In the end, I'll be relying on you if it comes down to it, Puck. I know, Subaru. Leah's always got me by her side, so she'll be fine. All right. The next up is... Mr. Natsuki, what about me? I'd like to do what I can to help. Right. Something for Odo to do. I say support Amelia. Red's got her own back. Amelia needs it. Oh, no, it's not working. I guess the game is telling us. I mean, we're all agreeing with the game then. How about you back up Melee? Well, I'd like to myself. Going around yeah. and doing minor tasks is more my style. You can leave her to me. Mr. Natsuki, please be vigilant. Yeah, I know. You be careful too. I forbid you to get too close to Melee, though. How else would I protect her? If only I had two bodies, then I could back Melee up and do everything else I need to. Oh my god. Besides, it would only cause more trouble if there were two of you. I'd be completely exhausted from all the talking. What? Really? I'd be super excited if there were two of you. No, wait. If there were two of you, the excitement might just give me a heart attack. Rem would be greatly enthused with two Subarus. Rem would cherish them equally. It's totally fine. We're always like this anyway. You're always everything should be okay you? with these people. It's fine, Otto. Everyone besides me is super strong. That doesn't sorry. quite dispel my fears. <laughs> Alright. I'll be Miss Amelia's bodyguard for the time being. Where is your mouth movement? Of course. I'm not so capable that I could say that you should leave everything to me. But I should be of some use nonetheless. I mean, at least you're not looking down on yourself, Otto. Yes. Everyone fled somewhere around here. Alright, and let's do this! Let's do this! Um.